Ooh, all I can say is wowza. I had no idea that this process of trying to halt her Siri and get her feet done was going to lead or that she was leading me and Dietz was leading me to understanding things on a level that I never could have imagined because I would have been so focused mindset wise on the achievement of my goal which is getting her feet done as I'm talking now with Siri, <laughs> she's like, see, how to get all that shit out of your system so you'd open your ears and listen a whole lot better. <laughs> You're right, girl. Yep, you are completely right. So I'm sitting on the mounting block, and Siri has walked over, and she's blowing all this shit out as I'm speaking about it. So there's the truth right from the horse's mouth. And trust me, she hasn't done that, like, ever. I mean, maybe she's blown out twice, and now she's starting to move her jaw and lick and yawn. Because she's proud of herself that what I would have perceived and was possibly perceiving as stubbornness or a refusal to... Uh, and Dietz is literally standing right behind me, and he's starting to move his jaw, too. They were trying to teach me something so different than what I thought that I was teaching them. We are at episode 48, and I just have been doing these 10 minute segments, you know, on different understandings and awarenesses I have through the haltering process and through the, you know, picking up the feet and trim process. And I'm not in denial that these things need to be done but I wanted to do it in a way that honors them I wanted to without even really fully understanding that this was my continued research in consciousness with animals and right now it happens to be with horses I didn't even grasp in my achievement mindset of just getting the halter on and getting the feet done how much information I mean vital straight from the horse information would have been missed that is revealing to me on such a deeper level the essence of who these beings are I would have missed it if I just would have said hey I got the halter on and I got the feet done great I'm awesome I would have completely ignored what these horses were trying to show me at an essence level of who they are of what they experience if I would have gotten caught up in like, these are my X amount of steps to how you do this, or this is the way you do that, I would have missed all of these, I guess it's hours at this point, right? There's, a, there's a, almost 50 videos, and they're 10 minutes a piece, so, I mean, we got a lot of hours of understanding such a different perspective of what it is that we need to look at and contemplate from the horse's perspective and what they're trying to teach us what they're trying to help show us and all we want to do is keep coming at them and get them trained and you know like we think a horse is smart because it can figure out or how to do a jumping pattern or you know how to do a barrel racing pattern or how to chase a cow we have no real idea of the vast amount of wisdom and, and intelligence and consciousness that these beings possess. 
and and every one of them is a little bit different right just like we're a little bit different like sure like with dogs we could say oh well it's german shepherd you know it's going to be high intensity it's going to be a protector it's but then there's the the subtleness of the soul and the essence of every single being like how you would meet a, another human and you wouldn't be like oh you're a human you're greedy you're arrogant you, you know you're fast paced you're we wouldn't do that right we look at all people as individuals so now seeing like what and hearing and feeling and understanding the depth like I remember when I broke down and cried when I was about to put the halter on Siri because even though my human mind my conditioned mind told me well that's awesome and like you know that's such a huge achievement I was sobbing because I felt her and I heard her and she said this is the last bit of freedom and sovereignty that I really will ever have and I I lost it because I was like oh my god I didn't know and when I came to this planet, I wanted to know the truth. I wanted to know the whole truth. Like what each being goes through. Who are we really? What are we doing here? You know, what do we have to offer each other? What is this connection we have with the animals and nature? Like that was my, I don't know if you call it mission, but that was my thing. Like that's the thing I wanted to know. And... I'm so blown away what starting recording these episodes and these moments, you know, with my horses, the, the contemplations and the, and the awarenesses that I've had, and then also the self-reflection that I've had and had to go through. Like, as I share these, I hope that, you know, that is how you take it. You know, take it for your own contemplation. May it transfer something to you where you become curious, you know, about your own animals, like things you've never thought about. I mean, I've been tracking it, but like this year, I've never had so many people whose animals I work with with them. And I'll ask them a question, you know, like on a soul level or a gut level, like, what do you know? And I mean, I literally stop and go, I've never thought about that before. So uh, and that makes me question our education system big time. Not not because I'm any better than anybody else, but I went through the same type of education. And then I was so miserable, I wanted to kill myself. And I'm, I'm not kidding about that. I mean, I wanted to kill myself so many times in this life because I didn't fit because I didn't understand who I really am because I I was never taught that but it was what I wanted to know I didn't realize at the time that's what I wanted to know I didn't realize at the time like how it would be shown to me through my fitness training path and through qigong and all of the doors that that opened to understanding my physical emotional psychological and spiritual health and well-being and then being introduced and connected on the levels that I've been connected with the animals I didn't realize that this would be the path and it is and as I sit here now you know 48 episodes in and recognize that this is my path and my mission and my purpose of continuing to conduct you know energy medicine research with the animals and also consciousness research and I'm I'm probably more blown away than anybody and I'm so honored because in understanding the lies of separation and coming back to the truth of inseparability that makes me feel like I can really walk my path in true alignment with the creator's plan like yes there are things I want to do and there are things I want to experience but being in alignment never forgetting that there is a divine plan and a divine experience here 
I'm just so honored I get to live it and that the horses showed it to me.